All right. Hello and happy Sunday and uh, happy Sunday evening. And we got my Bauer telly going on in the camera. Right on up in the camera like that. And... <laughs> loud crazy noise was hello everybody the little orange amp right there so what we determined is that that tube was failed um, half of the tube was toast when the 12x7s are two tubes I'll show you that in a second um, all the rest of the tubes have been tested it had a blown blown fuse in it which was the initial problem but uh, we'll go ahead and turn that thing down and get back to the camera here with the head cut off. And um, so what happens here with these things, I've got, here's the little failed tube. What happens with these things, I've probably said this before on here, but a 12AX7 tube is two tubes in one container. It's, it's, it's a, uh, it is a split in half, uh, triode is what it what it actually is but that's why there's all those wires on the end of it because it's actually two tubes you can you can use these for cascading gain like mesa boogie does one side of it amplifies and then it goes into the other side amplifies it some more and down to the next tube and it does the same thing they call it cascading gain but that's a mesa boogie thing but um if half of the tube goes bad it can still work if it's actually only using half the tube. In a case of an amplifier like this, they're using both halves of it for gain. So um, one half of it goes bad or weak or whatnot, then, then it's, uh, it's, not, it's not good. So what happens with it here, if, if I show you real quick that uh, tester, that, that one, I have another tester over there that I use also to test all the tubes for short circuits. Um, the one that failed, failed on the quality failure, which tells me that as it gets hotter, it has the potential to short out when it gets hotter and or it can overload the, the amp, um, the power section of the amp and cause it to blow the tube because it's excessive current. So that's what happens with those. So replace that tube, replace the, the, uh, the uh, blown fuse. And the first blown fuse, uh, I replaced it with a fuse that blew immediately because I had a junk fuse, so that happens. I, I buy I buy these uh, fuses in bulk, like that, and uh, you know they're manufactured by the thousand. And sometimes you get one that's not quite up to snuff, so it pops, and then you got to play around with it. But the the final the final word on the amp, like I told you last Tuesday, that I would I would give you a final word on it. The final word on the amp is is uh, uh, one failed 12 ax 7 tube and a blown fuse that was a result of the bad tube. All of the other tubes are tested, no shorts, they're quality good. Um, so it should be fine now. All, all I gotta do is stick it back in the uh, cabinet after I've done the final testing, which I just did, and uh, stick it back in the cabinet and be all good. So um, so that was, uh, that, that was the follow up on that. Uh, my apologies to the customer for the Black Star amp that I was going to get into that real heavy today. I had some uh, some other things that I had to get done around town and some work that I had to get done in the shop to take care of some other work that's coming up. So things got delayed a little bit. I will get to that, 
tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work and my day job, I will get to the Black Star app and I'll get into the troubleshooting on that. So my apologies to that customer. Um, I will get that uh, going as quickly as I can. So that being said, I'm able to get some progress. I'm going to show you in a moment. We'll go out in the in the uh, in the the wood shop, and I will show you why I am now able to get some progress. So uh, things are coming together, and things are looking pretty good. So I will go ahead and and uh, transfer out to that that part of the house and and uh, show you what's going on out there. So talk to you guys in a minute. Bye. There's Winky in my Amazon box. Crazy cat. <laughs> Just a second. All right, so here I'm out in the shop, and I'm going to flip the camera around again. I had to put the little blurp with Winky in there because I was walking through the kitchen, and I just got that Amazon box, and she's sitting in it. It was just too funny, but the cats are crazy. So I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys a quick little tour of what progress we've made in the shop, and it's actually very, very impressive, and I'm so thankful to have uh, – Sherry's help here and have help in the shop. It's been a lifesaver. It's amazing. So here we go. So there's the the pile of mess that I showed you guys last time is now gone. And the toolboxes are all nice and neat and organized over there. Still have a little bit of work to do. But uh, all of this stuff, there's the shelving that I installed. All this stuff is on there. The workbenches. I put a shelf up there. Todd Johnson's birthday Doctor Who picture. Thank you for that. And uh, I'll, I'll always have that. So here's what the uh, situation, I'm going to move this bar stool out of the way. But here's the situation with my workbenches that I was showing everybody. Now you can understand why I've got them in a horseshoe arrangement. Because I've got my, my bandsaw here. I've got my bandsaw here. I've got the, the, the rest of the cutting tools. My, my uh, drum sander the little belt sander, another belt sander, and a disc sander, and then my, my drill press. And all of this stuff is, as you can see, it's all powered. It's all wired in, and it's all powered off that one switch right there. It's basically an emergency kill switch. It kills the whole, the whole apparatus if I have a problem. And it still allows me to have some workbench space there and there where I can actually, you know, this is for clamping up things that I'm gluing up necks and stuff like that. But um, having it in this horseshoe arrangement, and uh, there's a shelf up there that I put up there for some sandpaper and stuff like that. But having it up in this horseshoe arrangement like this, I've got a place to put guitar bodies in work. Um, some necks will go up on top of that shelf. And I'm able to come here and do work almost in an assembly line kind of fashion. And it's all easily accessible. It's all right there. I don't have to move anything. I don't have to switch anything around before I was having to pick a tool up and get it off the bench put another one up on the bench and and this this arrangement here is like an actual shop so I can actually come out here and make some make some uh, progress and and get some things done without having to stop and change equipment and move equipment around and all that so so it makes a, a huge huge difference and um and so you get a little bit of a of a picture of how the thing is going but but there's there's the whole thing panorama kind of deal and uh, it's as you can see I've got a lot of floor space now so I can actually use the garage pull the car in and work on it if I need to but but the whole point of this room was to be able to have that workshop space to make to make guitar necks and bodies and repair instruments and things like that and and uh, down underneath that uh, corner right there next to the shop vac is a airless paint sprayer system that uses a turbine pump instead of a mechanical pump and it doesn't use a air compressor so it's actually an air type paint gun that it's an HVLP paint gun that paints just as good as any air compressor type but it uses a turbine compressor plugged into the wall and it doesn't require an air tank or anything like that so that is something that I haven't used yet that I'm going to do in place of doing my polyurethane uh, finishes, I'll be able to do that with the nitrocellulose lacquer and hand rub and stuff like that. So, so let me flip this back. So, as you can see, there's a lot of progress going on. Um, I'm 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 getting to the point now where life is back together. Um, I'm back together. I'm feeling better. Um, I'm I'm back to my old self, and I'm going to be able to start pumping out instruments out here. 
making some very cool stuff. I'm, I'm going to start making my pedal boards again for sale. I'm going to start uh, making amplifier cabinets and amplifiers from scratch, like my Bauer amplifier that I've shown in there before. I'm going to start uh, also making some custom-made speaker cabinets and things like that. So there's a lot of things that are going to take place out here now that I have this set up so I can be efficient. I can actually have I have the energy and I have the time and the efficient space to do it. So, so there's going to be a lot of things coming. There's going to be a lot of things for sale on here that I'm going to make. And I'm hoping that I can grow both the, the guitar shop and my YouTube page to the point where I can do this full time, um, not notwithstanding saying that I'm, I'm uh, not appreciating having a great job. I, I do appreciate that very much, and I'm going to keep that as long as I can. But I would really love to see this grow into something that it deserves to be. So we'll we'll see uh, if we can make that happen. God willing, we'll, we'll we'll make that happen. So everybody have a great week. Um, have a, a great Sunday evening. A great week. And uh, I will see you guys in a couple days on here real short and sweet with, uh, with the orange amp final video and also with some stuff on that black star amp and get a little progress on that. So uh, sorry about all the dust out here making me scratch my nose. But uh, you guys have a great week. God bless, and I will see you soon. Bye.